Occupy Stolen Lands! Long live Gaza! Long live Gaza! Hello? Well, we should begin by acknowledging that no Palestinian has been involved in the creating of this plan, and there are no Palestinians here as the plan is being unveiled. And that's because it is not a peace plan at all. This plan has nothing to do with peace. This is about the cementing of an apartheid system. It's about permanent occupation and indefinite denial of Palestinian human rights. <laughs> Netanyahu, stop your sass! Peace plan, my ass! <laughs> Netanyahu, stop, stop your sass! sass. Peace, Peace plan, my ass! Long live the Intifada! Long live the Intifada! Intifada, Intifada! Intifada, Intifada! Donald Trump calls hate! Israel is an apartheid state! Donald Trump calls hate! Israel is an apartheid state! Occupation on stolen land. Trump and Bibi have a plan. Occupation on stolen land. Benjamin Netanyahu to stay right there. So over here, we might get a better view. Free, free Palestine. Netanyahu, go home. Free, free Palestine. Netanyahu, go home. Free, free Palestine. Netanyahu, go home. Right. Israel is not a Jewish state. 15% of the population is Arab. Palestinians have been living in the region for thousands of years. But Zionists would like us to think that they never existed. Well, they do. And their houses are being demolished in order to build settlements for Jews who have decided to move to Israel. Let's look at who likes this agreement. Donald Trump. Bibi <laughs> Netanyahu. <laughs> Benny Gantz. <laughs> but there's another sector of the U.S. population, not just the right-wing Jewish community, like the APAC folk, but also the Christian Zionists. Now, the Christian Zionists are a huge population, bigger than the Jewish population. In fact, they claim to represent 80 million Americans. I have no idea if it's really that many, but it's many, many millions of Americans. Zionist Christians. Brainwashed Zionist Christians. Very, very strange people <laughs> because they support the Israeli state as long as it plays into their biblical vision of the Armageddon. It is about annexation of most of the settlements on the West Bank. It is about trying to force permanent second-class status down the throats of Palestinians, but Palestinians say no way to this, and they, it is absolutely correct for them to have rejected this peace scam. Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live I've ever had to see or read as a Palestinian. To watch Netanyahu, the leader of a state that's committed war crimes, a Holocaust revisionist who in 2015 has said, has blamed the Holocaust and the extermination of Jews on a Palestinian, to watch him come to our country and to make deals with our leader who has also committed war crimes, yeah. there may be no justice unless we fight back. Yeah. Yeah.